Guardians of the Galaxy. And that was one that I was responsible for, for the visual development side of it. And then that one in particular, mainly because we didn't have as much material to go with. There, and there wasn't as much, you know, when I say as much material, I'm also saying that there wasn't as much in the minds of people out there. Not, not, not many people know these characters, who they are, you know, what they should be like. There wasn't this kind of preconceived um, icon in their heads. Um, but because of that, I think we were able to kind of um, think more of the psychology of these characters and, and go a little bit like deeper of, okay, well, everything matters now. Um, we don't have as much of those kind of limitations. You know, uh, I'll pop back to like Thor for, for example, I, I, you know, for a little bit. For a character like Thor, we didn't have that kind of process. We already, I mean, Marvel as a whole, they felt like, well, we already kind of know who these characters are. But so a lot of times we're just searching for it, you know, and, and in, in a way on the art side, we're not really taking advantage of, the, of that process because again, th that becomes more of, we're problem solving that. It's more like, and sometimes we're actually going from a surface level, trying to dig a little bit deeper. Um, so we're working kind of backwards in there. But for Guardians, because it was so new and there wasn't as much collective thought of who these characters were, I think we were able to kind of think more of like, okay, well, this main character, what is he going through? What, what did he lose at the beginning? What, do, what, is he, what has he gone through that we haven't seen that we're not seeing in the in the movie. Let's start thinking about that, and, and it gives more depth, and it just it gave us more freedom to to go there and to think about more on a character side of it. And, and so, I think Guardians was probably the the one that I felt that the most in terms of process. You know, I felt like oh yeah, process wise, um, it we were a little bit more free to to think about character. Then you can sort of still be wacky and not take it so seriously, but you still believe it because the characters at, at a certain level feel grounded enough. Little choices, little things that, that you know, whether it's like the character because of the, the little um, yeah, Walkman that he's holding all the time, or, you know, it's, it's, or even as far as like how certain parts of him is designed. E each part becomes more like, oh, you know what, this is telling of who he is. Uh, versus making little choices that, that would reflect him in a different way that would already start feeling like, well, oh, it's really cool design, but that, that's probably something that Tony Stark would, would actually be wearing instead.